Hello, boys and girls. This is a story called The Mouse and the Cricket. This is a story about a mouse and a cricket. One lived in a hole and the other in a thicket. In the middle of the woods by a tall oak tree was a place Mother Nature called Perfect Harmony. At the bottom of the tree was a home of a mouse. A little bit small, but a mighty fine house. In the bushes there were butterflies living on a rose, and a little bunny rabbit with a wiggly little nose. The cricket sat on a leaf and would sing all day, and not much could frighten this little guy away. As long as he was singing, everything was all right, but when danger was coming, that's when he got quiet. Perfect Harmony was a clean little place, and everyone had their own special space. All the insects and animals were happy and nice, but freedom wasn't free. It came with a price. A long time ago, an old snake had moved in. He always frowned, and you never saw him grin. Everyone felt the danger as they looked around to see if anyone was lost there in perfect harmony. The cricket looked hard and finally saw the mouse. He was steady working, fixing up his little house. The butterflies had landed safely in the tree, and here came the bunny rabbit hopping happily and free. He didn't see the snake under the mulberry tree and wasn't paying attention to the danger, you see. The cricket went quiet and didn't make a sound. So the rabbit stood still and looked all around. The mouse ran outside and the snake ran after him. Then the eagle flew down from his perch on the limb. He grabbed that old snake and away he flew. Neither one of them returned. Why, nobody ever knew. The eagle saved the day, and everyone went home, their hearts beating fast as they sat there all alone. The cricket started singing and was happy as he could be, and everyone felt safe again there in perfect harmony. Well, the moral of the story is very easy to see. Working together will help make a strong community. And if we all do our parts, we can keep it safe and free, and there will always be this beautiful place called Perfect Harmony. Ha <laughs> ha